and we'll just go into this viewport, make sure it's locked there so we're always rendering this camera from the rear. Select our camera, modify, go through the rollouts, FR physical camera, into the presets, indoor daylight, and we'll just uncheck image control. Now this is uh, this is cached from a previous render, but what we'll do is straight in into the solution. We're on single frame mode. Just whilst we're testing, we don't want to reuse, and we want to we don't want to lock the solution. And here's where you'll, you'd save your solution path there. So we'll just hit render. Now one thing we will get with the Harmonix GI is if you're using white as your override you will get it a little blown out so what we'll do is we'll just tweak it just to get clean GI then we'll start converting our shaders over and we'll be good to go then just to change everything and, uh, and the lighting to get the correct levels there. So it's just building the cache here. See, we've got 26 lights in which are the lights in the ceiling at the front. Just merging the samples now. Now you can see this is completely blown out at the moment. So what we need to do is just let that render. You can see it is looking up some info. We'll just cancel the render there, reuse and lock the solution, and we'll go into the physical camera and check on the preview there. And indoor daylight. There. Just need to tweak the shutter speed. Let's get something what we need there. Remove aperture seven point five, and on image control, we get to tweak this image quite a lot now. So what we'll do is we'll just drag this wider, so you've got all of the controls for the physical camera in one list here. Into the image control, and if we just pop these in. You can see as we change the highlights they get boosted there. 50, 1 for the midtones, 50. We'll leave the saturation as 100. And you can see because of the yellow sky we're getting uh, sorry, the blue sky, we're getting the colour bleed through into the image here. And we can change the Kelvin to control our white point to get the image there, the, the correct white point we need. One trick I do use quite a lot is I'll have this as I want there, and then I'll maybe just go for a quick render. Click on the colour here and we'll just find, go on to there, click OK. And that just takes the blue out of the scene a little. We can, uh, again, if we go to something that's a bit more blue here, you can see that 
we're getting a much more neutral warmer tone to the render there now on the lighting setup again we could darken it go for a little more exposure there and I think that will do our physical camera for now